Hi, I'm Andrew McCready, Senior Editor at Driving.ca. It's a beautiful sunny day here in the North Shore of Vancouver. We've got a BMW M4, 430 horsepower twin turbocharge, and I'm heading up to Whistler. The thing is, I'm not taking this car. Why? Well, this car is so 20th century. The car I'm taking is the 2014 Tesla Model S. The big news around here is that the first Canadian Tesla supercharging station just opened in Squamish, and we're gonna drive up to check it out. So here we are inside the beautiful, clever cabin of the 2014 Tesla Model S that we'll be taking up to Whistler. Um, just wanna show you here, this is the incredible display that comes standard with all Model S's. Um, this arrow down here is us here in North Vancouver. We're going to be driving up to Whistler, which is up here, but of interest to us today is this red dot, and that signifies the supercharger station, which has um, just been installed about a week ago in Squamish. So the really interesting thing that's happened here now is the first one in Canada means that you can drive essentially from Whistler to San Diego non-stop except for stops at charging stations. And the really neat thing is all the charging stations are free. So in a sense, you could drive from Whistler to San Diego and back, and it won't cost you anything in terms of energy. So if we scroll here into uh, Canada, um, as I said, Squamish is the first one, but by the end of 2014, there's gonna be one in Hope, in Kamloops, and all the way into Calgary and Edmonton, which means this time next year, you'll be able to drive to Edmonton, Calgary, and then shortly across the country, with charging stations. Okay, see you in Squamish. Okay, we've just entered the Upper Levels Highway, which is gonna take us from North Vancouver to West Vancouver to Horseshoe Bay, and that becomes the Sea to Sky Highway, and that's what's gonna take us to Whistler and our supercharger stop in Squamish. Currently, our range is 374 kilometers. It's about 50 kilometers to Squamish, so uh, we'll get on the road now, and we'll check in with you in Squamish. Okay, so we just went to Starbucks. Um, it's a pretty well convenient location here in Squamish, the charging stations. You've got a Boston pizza, Starbucks, Subway, grocery store. So um, we've just sat here for 27 minutes, probably 18 of those in the lineup for Starbucks. It's a busy day out here. It's gonna stop it. So 27 minutes, 25 seconds, and we're up to 409 kilometers. So we just put about a 100 kilometer charge on that in 27 minutes. And oh yes, did I mention, it's free. Okay, so here we are at the Pan Pacific Lodge in Whistler. You'll see a familiar sign here, Tesla vehicle parking. And lo and behold, another supercharger. So this one, a little different, doesn't sense the car. So you have to manually, on the screen there, pop open the charger. It's got the Tesla supercharger port. It goes. And again, 25 minutes, this thing's gonna be fully charged. You're gonna spend the night here plug it in for an hour, come back, fully charged, park it over there, and you're ready to go home the next day. So all in all, pretty amazing stuff.